Hello, and welcome to your 50th, 50, that's definitely a milestone, 50th SQL Server tutorial. My name is Johnny DeLuca, and today I'm going to be talking to you about table variables and showing you how to declare and use table variables. Table variables behave similarly to local variables. They are typically used to store small amounts of data, less than 500 rows and are only available within the scope of the batch function or stored procedure in which they are declared. The syntax for declaring a table variable is as follows. I have it outlined right here for you. Um, in this little tiny snippet here, you can replace local underscore variable with the name you prefer, but you must prefix it with an at symbol. Next, you must define each column in the table. Each column will be defined in the same way you define columns when creating an actual table. Okay, so now let's take a look at how to declare and use table variables. So, go over to our SQL Server Management Studio. I want you to copy in this code right here and execute it. I've already done so, and you should see that it says 12 rows effective. Okay? So, in this query here, a table variable is declared, and the results of the query are inserted into the table variable. Now, we're going to add a select statement that references the table variable and joins it to the person table. So, let's go grab that piece of code right here and append that to the end of what we already have in our query execution window and see what happens. Boom. Okay. Now that once you copy that all in, go ahead and execute that. And let's take a look at the results that we get. Bingo. Just as I was expecting. Cool. Something to note, a table variable must be alias when you plan on referencing it in a query. The results are exactly the same as those returned when using the CPE, common table expression, that I went over in... The last tutorial. However, the advantage table variables have over CPEs is that they can be accessed during the entire batch or session. So, there you go. Now you know how to create or declare and use table variables. I look forward to seeing you in my next tutorial where I will be going over temporary tables, how to create and use temporary tables. See you in the 51st tutorial. Thanks for stopping by.